What up, YouTube? I have to make this little rant. Now, I was really interested in the Beats Audio headphones, or Beats by Dre, whatever. Headphones. And they're on sale at Future Shop, Best Buy, for 159 bucks. I tested every single kind there was. But the Beats Solo 2, oh, excuse me, a little hook over right now. The Beats Solo 2s weren't on display, but they're going for 219 and I was wondering why. So, uh, I tried them out, and I am a tech freak, like, I have a MacBook Pro, I have a 55-inch LG, I have a Bose Audio Surround Sound, I got $3,000 worth of car audio equipment in my car. I do not splurge on the moment if I don't think it's worth it, and I didn't think it was worth it. The reason why I didn't think it was worth it, one, they sound like shit. They shouldn't even make those anymore. They're probably going to discontinue them very soon because they're lowering their price and they're just trying to get a little bit of extra money, you know, get you in the, in, the, in the game. Oh yeah, there's fucking five other levels. Just sell those Solo 2s, get rid of the Solo 1s, and you should be good. Couldn't even test out the Solo 2s, but apparently they're a little bit better. Whatever, such a waste of money and time. Um, another thing, you can't return them. So it's like underwear or whatever. As soon as you touch them to your body, they're yours. That's why I see a lot of ads on Kijiji and the internet. They're all sealed, so a lot of people don't want to buy them because they might think that they're, uh, oh. they might think that they're not uh, legit. Because they don't have the receipt, but it's sealed. I think people are testing them out, returning them, getting them new, and not opening them. That's what I would do, but then they lose that on money right there, right? Uh, what else? They're not worth the price. They seem very cheap. And I'm only talking about the Solo Ones. Now, the number threes are whatever the hell. Beat Studio. The Studio Ones fucking rock. Um, they are extremely good. They fit my ear perfectly. The Level Ones or whatever, the cheap ones. Really tiny. It's like... That's what... So that's Solo One, that felt weird. And this is, ah, the Solo Threes are crap, whatever. Anyways, I thought it was crap. Do not waste your money. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even pay $200, let alone 160. Oh, I guess I should go sleep. So I'd just make this rant and uh, leave your negative comments down below. I'm trying to think of other things. Yeah, the price is way too much. Definitely test them out. Uh, the matte black finish is nice. Um, the price for Father's Day, just because it's Father's Day, blah, blah, they'll go on sale again. Everything will get cheaper and cheaper. Hold off from buying Beats Audio. Go to Bose. Go to something else. If you just like that little B logo, fucking trace it and sticker it on the side of your little headphone there. It's all just a gimmick. They're 32 bucks to make the most expensive pair. So for 439 bucks, whatever, for those top line, that twisted bear, blah, blah. Ha! Ah! Um, thirty-nine bucks, thirty-two bucks. So it's like a two thousand dollar, two thousand percent markup because uh, Buzzfeed was talking about that. So absolutely no way is it worth it to buy Beats Audio headphones. Get the earbuds. Get some Apple headphones. Fuck, they come with your phone. Use those. Those are forty bucks in the store. They work great. But if you like that whole cupping experience, noise cancellation shit, go waste your money. Feel free. I'm Matt. This is my rant. This is Sunday. Happy Father's Day. Enjoy your day. See you later. Blah, blah, blah. Tune in for more Hey Day. Peace.